so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hi! <laughs> oh, Mika, would you like to play a game? Sure, Blippi! <laughs> yeah, okay, let's play a game of I Spy! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, okay, I'll go first. Go I spy it. with my Blippi eye something brown and barky! Ooh. Hey! Is it the tree trunk? <laughs> yeah, it's the bark <laughs> on the tree trunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And me, Yamika. And today, we're here at Tree People in the Santa Monica Mountains. <laughs> Ooh, we're going on a nature hike. <laughs> yeah, and we're having so much fun, enjoying the sunshine, oh, <laughs> and the fresh air, <sighs> and the really tall green trees. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. <laughs> okay. I spy with my Mika eye. Something big and blue. Oh, something that's big and blue. <laughs> hmm. Do you see something big and blue? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's the sky. That's right. Oh, hello sky. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. I spy with my blippy eye something red. Hmm, something red. <gasps> hey, is it this flower? Yeah, look. It's a red flower bud. Aw, yeah. Oh, so pretty. Hasn't bloomed yet. No, not till the spring. <laughs> then it will be a beautiful red flower. Whoa, what a beautiful day. Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must, must protect, protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie, here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do, and it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. to protect the Earth. We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw, throw them in. in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you, What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. But it's not just our home, is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you and me. Place that 
that we call home. <laughs> well, that was so much fun singing. Thanks yeah. for dancing along with oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but after all that singing and dancing, I'm definitely in need of a snack. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. Whoa, let's go eat a snack there. OK. Ah. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> well, what snack should we eat, Mika? I have some fruit in my jam pack. Well, I love eating fruit. <laughs> yeah, I especially love fruit because it's an always food. Yeah, you can always have a healthy snack by eating some fruit. Mm-hmm. Look at this bright red apple. Oh, and I have a bright orange banana. Wait a minute. Orange? <laughs> it's a yellow banana. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's one of silly. my favorite colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this definitely is going to be a tasty snack for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got to just peel it. Mm -hmm. and then take a bite. Oh, how's your apple? Delicious. <laughs> how's your nana? <laughs> yeah! That is so yummy and sweet. <laughs> I certainly love eating yummy fruits and vegetables. Me too, especially with my best friend. Do you like to eat fruits and vegetables too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, Mika, mm -hmm. when we're done eating, we're gonna have some leftover food scraps. We mm -hmm. should probably find a place to put them. I don't see any place nearby. Yeah, we don't want to litter and just throw them out in nature. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to put our banana peel and our apple core. <laughs> Maybe we can keep going down the trail and we'll find somewhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Whoa. 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 Okay. Let's keep going down the trail, <laughs> eating our yummy snacks, and keep on the lookout for a place to put our scraps. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Look at this! Whoa! I wonder what it is. A trash can? Mm, maybe, but it doesn't quite look like one. <gasps> hey! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a triangle! <laughs> two triangles. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. One, two. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi, I'm Hillary. I'm an eco educator here at Tree People. Ooh, oh, nice Hillary. What is this triangular thing? Yeah. That's a great question. This is actually two different types of soil. Whoa, yeah, check it out. Look, looks like there's some sandy soil in this one mm -hmm. and some mushy green brown looking soil in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these sides is actually sick soil. Can you guess which side is our sick soil? Uh, mm. This side? Um, you're close. It's actually this side. Oh, yeah. Well, you think we need to take that dirt to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this side is our sick city soil because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, there are some concrete blocks on the top. That probably is not too good for the soil. No, that actually represents our sidewalks in the city. Oh, and what about this one over here? So this is our healthy soil. That's the type of soil you're gonna see out here at tree people or around on hikes. Yeah, Ooh. look, there's some leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> hang on some bark, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's definitely green looking. Yeah, oh. looks nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary, we also have some food scraps from our snack we were wondering what we should do with them or where we could put them. That's a great question. You can actually put that in something called a compost oh. bin. What's a compost bin? That's a great question. When you add your fruit and veggie scraps to a compost bin, it breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil. Ooh. Wait, so putting our banana peels and apple cores in a compost bin, it would make the soil really healthy like that. Yes, exactly. Whoa. We eat it and get healthy, and then we make the soil healthy. Oh, that sounds fun. Actually, you guys should follow yeah. me up the hill. I know somebody special who can help you compost your food scrap. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds so fun. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go check and see if the dirt doctor is in. Okay, okay. see you soon, Hillary. <laughs> Whoa, hi, Dirt Doctor. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. You look awfully familiar. Well, anywho, it's nice to meet you. Well, why don't you guys follow me? Okay. Whoa. What's all this? These are all the ingredients that we need to make our compost. Oh, whoa, yeah, it looks like you have an awful lot of cool things here. Oh, and can we add our food scraps to the compost? Yes, you absolutely can. We need half parts greens and half parts brown. Do we have enough? 
You know, I think we actually need a little bit more of both. Okay. Mm. Well, I think we can go find some. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> okay, we'll put our food scraps here and be right back. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mika, what do you want to try to find? Some twigs. Ooh, and maybe I'll find some green leaves. Ooh, yeah. perfect. Oh, and look, there are some green leaves here. <gasps> oh, but we should pick from the ground. Yeah, we don't want to hurt any of the trees or plants nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this. <laughs> yeah, all these <laughs> green and brown things would be great to add for the compost. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it looks like we got a lot of leaves and twigs and organic things. Ooh, <laughs> some, some berries too. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take this back to the dirt doctor. Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We brought it back to our doctor. Okay, sounds great. Why don't we start off with our greens? Okay. All right, well, how about on the count of three, we do our food scraps and our green leaves, and uh, let's do a rainbow toss into the bucket. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Rainbow! <laughs> Well, what do we do after we add all the green things? To the now compost? we gotta add our brown. So oh. why don't we do a little bit of all of the browns that we have? Okay, well we have an awful lot of leaves. Yeah, can Here you pass me some? Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. And I'll grab <laughs> some bark and some twigs. <laughs> all right, great. Now on the count of three, I want you guys to do a slam dunk into Ooh. our bucket. Compost basketball. Let's all right, <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We did it! Well, what do we add now? Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that we can have some moisture in our compost bin. And why don't we mix this up? Can I stir? Of course! <laughs> yeah! Stir, stir, stir! Well, that's stir a good up. mixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! And it looks like that water is helping to break it down, right? Exactly. And in two to three months, this is going to break down into a soil that's our compost. Whoa. And then what do we do? use the soil for? That's a great question. You can put it in your gardens and you can give it to your trees and your plants. Yeah, so they can grow big and strong. Speaking of plants, maybe we could uh, plant something? Yeah. Well, I'd love to plant something. Actually, I have something for both of you. Oh. I have white sage, which is a native plant. <gasps> oh, check it out. This white sage is so beautiful and the leaves are kind of fuzzy. <laughs> well, I would certainly love to plant these white sage with my best friend, Nika. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dirt Doctor. It was really nice learning about so many things from you. <laughs> oh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Sal. I mean, dirt doctor. <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to plant our plants. There you go, Mika. I have an idea. Oh. Let's name our plants. Whoa, that's a great idea. Well, Mika, what are you going to name your white sage? Mmm, buttercup. Buttercup? <laughs> oh, I like that name. I'm going to name mine. Charlie! Oh, Charlie and Buttercup. Aww. I hope they're very happy here. Yeah. Well, Mika, these are actually native to California, oh. which means they're from California. <laughs> uh-huh. That means they can grow in California even if it's dry and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow nice and big and strong. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. Well, I think oh. mine's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks good, too. Let's put this flag here so we know that Buttercup and Charlie Live here. Yeah, we don't want anyone to step on them, and we want to remember where we put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was so much fun celebrating yes. Earth Day. That was <laughs> awesome meeting the dirt doctor who taught us all about composting. Yeah, and what healthy and not so healthy soil looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> hey, can you spell our names with us? Okay. Here we go. Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? M E E K A H. -A -H. Mika. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. <gasps> Happy Earth Day! <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where we're at today. You don't know where we're at? Yeah, because it's an illusion. <laughs> Today, we're at 
World of Illusions in Hollywood, California, and this place is so awesome! But first, I have someone really important to introduce you to! Yeah, it's my best friend! Hey, Blippi! <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm Mika! Yeah, this is Mika. She is my best friend! Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend! Oh, no, Mika, you're my best friend! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to get to hang out with you today! Yeah! What are we gonna do? Well, we're at World of Illusions! Whoa, I bet there's so many cool things to look at! Yeah, there is! And I brought my camera so I can take some pictures! Oh, awesome! <laughs> Let's go! Come on! back there. Yeah, we were so little, and now that we're up close, we look bigger. <laughs> and speaking of big and gigantic, whoa, everything in this room is gigantic. It's so big. Whoa, this is awesome. Whoa, whoa look at these. Whoa. Whoa. They're giant eggs. Wow. Let's count the eggs together. Okay. One, One two, two, three, four, Five, six! Six giant eggs! Yeah! Wow, and they're so colorful. I was just going to say that! Yeah? <laughs> look how colorful they are! What one is your favorite? Ooh, I think this one because there's yellow and purple and I like all these stripes, this whole design. Whoa! And I like this one because it has orange and this kind of bluish color. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! Whoa! Check it out! Huh, we're sitting in a giant dog bowl! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! The dog food in here would be so massive! Can you imagine the dog that would eat from this bowl? Whoa! That would be a gigantic dog! Yeah! <laughs> Definitely not a chihuahua! <laughs> oh, no way! Wow! Do you have any pets at home? Whoa! <laughs> cool. Ooh, let's go explore! Yeah. It's over here. Whoa. Whoa! What? They're giant headphones. Yeah, normally headphones are so small and that go on your ear. But these are giant. Yeah, they're really big. This would be for a giant's ears. <laughs> That's silly. Whoa, look at this. Oh. She loves unicorns. <laughs> hey, do you want to ride it? Yes. Oh, can you help me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Here you go. All right, actually, I'm going to step up here. Okay. In. Here I come. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Be careful. Whoa. Whoa. Where are you going, Mika? Oh, I think I'm just going to go get some ice cream. Whoa. Ice cream on her unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> that is so silly. Whoa, how do I look? Well, you look really good. Maybe I should take a picture of you. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right, say giant unicorn on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Giant unicorn. Wow. Wow, this is going to be such a great picture. Woo. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> oh I love it. Thanks, Clippy. Awesome. You're welcome. Hey, Mika, I have a great idea. Why don't we go play some hide and seek? <gasps> yes. Yeah. I have you ever played hide and seek before? <laughs> yeah. How about I hide? Okay, and then you can help me find Flippy. Oh, we'll count together to five. All right. All right, go hide. Okay, close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, come help me. Do you see Flippy? Let's see. Is Flippy by the giant eggs? Hmm, I don't see him there. Oh, maybe in the big dog bowl. Flippy! Nope. Hmm, let's go back to the giant headphones. Not here. Maybe behind the really cool unicorn. Flippy! Where is he? Hmm. Flippy! I'm over here. Did you hear that? Flippy? I'm right over here. Flippy! Yeah, <laughs> you found me! 
eggs. <laughs> I was hiding behind the eggs the whole time. I didn't even see you when I looked the first time. <laughs> Did you see me? <laughs> oh, nice. That was awesome. Hey, let's go play some more hide and seek together. Oh, yes, I want to hide. All right, let's go. Whoa, Whoa. check it out. We're in a kitchen. Yeah, look at this giant piece of cake. Oh, it looks so yummy. Yeah, ooh, I wish it were real. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Ooh, looks like it's a vanilla piece of cake. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at these yummy pink layers, maybe strawberry. Ooh, or raspberry. Yeah. Whoa, ooh, and the frosting up top. Ooh. Yum. Sprinkles and... <gasps> Ruby, look at this! Whoa! A giant cherry! Yum! Yeah! A piece of cake with a cherry on top! <laughs> Whoa! Look over here! Whoa! Whoa. It's a blippy cup! Whoa! Blippy <laughs> teacup! Yeah! This big saucer! Wow, this would be a really big tea party! Yeah! A blippy tea party! Yeah! Whoa. Nice and warm! Whoa. Whoa. Why don't you take my picture? Yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll say tea party on three. All right. Ready? Yep. Flippy tea party on three. One, two, three. Flippy tea party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. How does it look? Let's take a look together. <gasps> Whoa. It looks so small. Yeah, the cup is so big. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, thanks for taking my picture. Of course. Whoa. Ooh, thank you. Whoa. Wow, it's so big. Look at this kitchen counter, Blippi. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to reach any cookies if they were up there. No, it's so <laughs> tall. Whoa. Or if there are some bananas. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Or some broccoli? Ooh. Ooh. Nope. What, what would you want if it was up there? Ooh, I think I would want a nice tall cup of orange juice. Let's get Yum! Oh. Nope. nope. Hey, this would be a great room to play another round of hide and seek. That's a great idea. Yeah, can I hide now? Okay, yeah, you yeah. can hide. Okay, awesome. All right, will you close your eyes with me and count to five? All right, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here we come. Okay, did she buy the cake? Hmm. Where are you, Mika? I don't see you by the cake. Do you see Mika by the cake? Hmm, not seeing her. Huh. All right, what about the teacup? Mika, where are you? <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. Whoa, where could she be? Mika, oh, maybe on top of the kitchen countertop. Mika, where are you? Oh, is she up here? Whoa, oh, no, I don't see her anywhere. Do you see Mika? Mika, where are you? I'm behind you. She's behind me, but I can't see her. Do you see her? Mika, where are you? Mika! You. What? She's behind me? I don't see her. What? You're saying that she's in the cupboard? Okay, let's go check. Mika! Yeah, we found her! Good job! I love playing hide and seek! Yeah, that was so fun! Yeah! Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, yeah let's go! Whoa, come on! Whoa, you look so small! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! This place is awesome! Yeah, doesn't Blippi look so much bigger than me? Yeah, Nika! You look so small! <laughs> Whoa! But check this out! <laughs> Whoa! No, I'm really big! And I'm really small! <laughs> Do you want to see how it works? Whoa, come on! Yeah, come on! Whoa! See how the floor is slanted? It's kind of like a ramp! Yeah! 
and Mika was a lot closer to you, and I was further. Yeah, when I was closer to you, I looked really big. And when I was further away, I looked small. Yeah. You want to see an example? <laughs> see my two hands? They're the same size. Yes, but if you move one hand back and the other one forward, this hand looks bigger than this hand because it's closer. <laughs> yeah. This place is awesome. It's really, really fun. Yeah, should we go explore some more? Yeah, let's keep looking. Yeah. yeah. Check it out! Oh, I'm sitting on an elephant trunk! Yeah! And I'm balancing on an elephant tusk! Whoa! Let's sound like elephants together! Alright, here we go! Will you act like an elephant with us? Whoa! Hey, Mika, I should take your picture! Alright! Say elephant on three. Yay. One, two, three. Elephant. Whoa. Whoa. This is going to be such a great picture. Whoa. Oh, let me see. Wow. wow, it really looks like I'm sitting on an elephant trunk. I know. And it looks like I'm standing right now on the elephant tusk. Yeah, but if you come over here, come over this way. Yeah. You will see, I'm just sitting on the floor. And I'm just standing on the floor. <laughs> That's called an illusion. Yeah, this place is so cool. Yeah, should we go explore some more? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Surprise, Mama Chick. I'm not a baby chick, I'm Mika. Hello. <laughs> oh, Mika, what are you doing? Hey, Flippy, look, I just hatched out of this egg. No, you didn't. Hey, Mika. Yep. Hey, Mika, do you mind if I take a picture of you? Oh, yes, please. All right. What <laughs> should I say? How about baby chick on three? Okay. One, two, three. Baby chick. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Let's see this picture. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it does look like you're a baby chicken. It really does. Thanks for the picture. You're welcome. Here you go. You Thank can keep you. that one. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're jumping on a trampoline! Yeah, with a bunch of cupcakes! Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second! <laughs> Whoa, look at these cupcakes! What colors oh. are they, Mika? I see orange. Who likes the color orange? Me! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! And see a purple cupcake. Ooh, I love purple! Is that why you always wear a purple shirt? You know it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A green cupcake. Ooh, it's green. Yo. <laughs> just like my camera. I'm colored green. And look, it's not a trampoline at all. It's another illusion. It's just painted on the floor. Yeah. Hey, Mika, what cupcake would you want to eat? Ooh. <laughs> probably the purple one. <laughs> yeah. I would probably pick the orange one. Yeah, yummy. Should we jump some more? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Come Whoa! 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 What's wrong? We are on the ceiling! Whoa! 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 This is crazy! Whoa! Whoa! We're in a bedroom. There's a bed. You can dress her. Yeah! What is going on? We're upside down! Have an idea. Will you jump with me on the count of three? Sure. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa. That's a little better. Yeah, that's <laughs> much better. But now everything that should be on the floor is on the ceiling. Yeah. We were upside down, but now the room is upside down. Yeah. Whoa. We must be in an upside down house. Whoa, this is so cool. Yeah. I love upside down houses. Why don't we go see what other rooms there are in the upside down house? Yeah! Whoa! 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 Whoa, the kitchen! Come on! Whoa! <laughs> this wow. is awesome! Oh, well, look, the chairs are on the ceiling, the table. Whoa! Yeah, and this countertop. Ooh, and there's even some eggs <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Ooh, and the stove top. Yum! <laughs> Salt and pepper. Ooh, and spatula. Whoa, this is so cool. What's for dinner?
here. Look, it looks like breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yum. Slice of pie. Yeah, I love pie. Yum, 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 yum. Whoa, <laughs> this room is so cool. Wow. Can we keep exploring? Yeah. Whoa. Bye-bye, <laughs> kitchen. Bye. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, the living room. Whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. This big couch is on the ceiling. Whoa. I can almost touch it. Yeah, look at the <laughs> chair. Whoa. <laughs> this would be a fun room to watch it. Show it. Yeah. Whoa. It's be on the ceiling to watch it. Whoa. I have an idea. Why don't we have a living room dance party? Yeah, an upside down living room dance Whoa. party. Good thing I brought my camera. Yeah. yeah, now I have this cool photo album. Yeah, we took so many pictures. Yeah. Ooh. What was your favorite part of today? <laughs> Look, right there. I love the elephant. Oh, yeah, that was so Ooh, silly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Wait a second. Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Mika. <laughs> yeah! All right, see you soon. Bye-bye! Yeah. <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, and this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, 
That is awesome! Uh, but what is a captain, exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around, we make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah! That sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah! Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. <laughs> yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. OK. Cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard, everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. Yeah! And she's a real-life marine biologist! Uh, hi, Mackenzie! Hi! Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh! And what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab. And this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa, can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, OK, here we go. I'm going to be very gentle, though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. Yeah! How many legs does he have? Whoa! Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! He has ten legs! Whoa! That's a lot of legs! A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah! Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them. But they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. OK, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back. It's kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look, whoa. <laughs> OK, horse. Uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put them back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. 
Whoa, it's a clamshell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve, mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm gonna let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not, this is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Ooh. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean and you are able to use them in the shower or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat! Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> 
So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! We drove the boat all over the ocean. We finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? See the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here, there are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah! And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah! And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. 
Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here, whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go, it's already looking like the ocean, <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean, so we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring, just one drop, one, and maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah, we have some crabs. crabs in, mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh, <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell, whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Mm, and I'll just grab a couple more. Okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We well, want to keep it nice and clean. So we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then we can ask a grown-up 
they use scissors to make a little cut. And now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do search for my name. Hey, you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo!